uh, last Wednesday at the uh, at, after the uh, rally uh, at, that the president spoke at, uh, we had uh, uh, several guests on from Massachusetts who were at the uh, actual event. And uh, one of them was uh, Nate Nickerson, who owns uh, Arnold's, which is a great seafood uh, restaurant and miniature golf course. It has all kinds of stuff, soft ice cream, on uh, in East Ham on Cape Cod. And uh, Nate had had been back from the capital, and he hadn't he hadn't seen the uh, the 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 a phrase the the rioting the the breaches that took place like like the vast majority of people that were there including someone that we that uh, is here in the studio who was up there shooting it for a network he had, he had no idea what was going on he said even though he had a camera and he was connected to a news desk so uh nate came on and he said that uh you know that he he had had a uh, a, a decent experience there and uh, he he hadn't seen the violence and uh, neither he nor i condoned the violence uh, what happened there and uh however since since he returned to to cape cod a, a certain group of people have uh, ha, have really criticized him severely they're trying to cancel him uh even though he he did nothing wrong he wasn't arrested he he just he didn't see it he he wasn't connected to to a tv set or uh, or the internet where he could watch what was going on and uh, again, we just wanted to have him on the show today to uh, to explain that that what happened, and uh, it's it's really unfair that people like Nate Nickerson. He's not the only one, but I, I happen to know him, and many of you happen to know him. Happen to know him, and you've enjoyed his restaurant and his hospitality. And we just wanted to give him a chance to uh, explain his side of the story. He, he was on with Ed Lambert earlier today on WXTK and we, we all support, uh, Nate and, uh, you know, he, he doesn't deserve this, honestly, basically he, this is not, this, this shouldn't be happening to a good guy. Nate, uh, I, I, what, what do you want to say to everybody? Well, first I want to say, hi, Howie, I hope you're doing well. And, uh, second, uh, I started this nightmare with you. And I just wanted to finish with you. After this, I'm not talking to anybody because it doesn't do any good. You try to explain the situation. They take it apart. They, they, it, it's just unbelievable what the damage that has been done. They, the, the, uh, the what? Yeah. The hatred. I've been called a, uh, a domestic terrorist, Hitler. Um, I went there to start a civil war. I, I went there to, change the, the, the vote of the, uh, you know, the electorate. Uh, and then and they have pictures of some guy with a, uh, a shirt that says Civil War 19, uh, 2021, January 6th. And uh, yeah. it's going around the Internet. Hell, it's going around viral that it was me. I had on a black L.O. Bean shirt and a, I mean, coat and a Under Armour hat. And I didn't have any background. But that doesn't matter. It's all over. I just had, and this is, this is what really killed me. This this finished me. And yes, uh, we're building a beautiful house. Huh? No. Well, and our neighbor no. is not happy with us. They're very very unhappy. And I'm just going to leave it like that and, and let your no. guests figure out the rest of it because it's just too bad to talk about. But but I uh, it, it, I did when I took was on the show with you first i was in a good mood it was wonderful out there people were happy they had the dogs they had their kids the american flags were flying like hundreds of them and it was beautiful it was a windy day and i guess they got at the rally up when i Capitol, said that yeah this was at the, this was at the rally nate this was at the rally not at not inside the actual capital yeah. itself no 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 one could go in the capital you don't go in the capital you go in the capital you get shot that's pretty clear and those people that did that uh, are responsible, and they should be punished to the fullest extent of the law. Every single one of them. They're evil. And I have no part of that, but that doesn't matter. I am evil. And, and I live in a town, a small town, and I've been here for 70 years. I've got a you know, pretty good reputation. I, com I commit to this uh, community. I donate. You know, I do whatever I can because it's been a damn good town to me. And now it's ruined. I'm, I'm finished here. I, 
there's no way I'm going to be able to outlive this one because it's just overwhelming. I can't fight it. I'm just a little tiny guy. I can't fight these people. And, uh, and my wife is having such a hard time and my daughter, they can't take it anymore. <laughs> it's not fair. I'm a good person. It's just not fair. <laughs> Nate, Nate, you, I better go. You have, you people. This is a tiny minority of people that are doing this to you. Most people understand. I, I talked to the guy down here in the in the studio. He told me the same thing you're saying. He said where he was uh, far away from the Capitol, he said it was like a conservative Woodstock. You know, none of this stuff was going on. This was a this was a handful of people, and you didn't know what was going on. And uh, this is this is just not this is not right the way they're treating you, Nate. I know it's not right, but you can't change it. You know, I mean, I've, I've had a good reputation. Now it's just, everything's destroyed. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to stay here anymore. I don't, I don't know. It, uh, the, the future will let me know, but, uh, I, you know, it's just, it's, it's not right. I mean, is this the way we want to raise our children to hate like this? Is this one? Because this is what we're going to get. So you keep hating and you can just take me right out. But just think of the children. Of course, think of the children because there's a million, well, I won't say it. But uh, think of it. Think of your grandchildren. Is this the kind of world you want to live where you have hatred and you don't, you don't, uh, you can't sit down across the table from someone and agree to disagree and and have a have an intelligent conversation and find some areas of uh, mutual understanding and agreement. No, you can't do that because you went to a stupid rally and now you're the evil minister. You're uh, you know, I don't know. You're, you whatever you are. You evil, evil. I'm evil. I'm a bad person, and I don't deserve to be here. You know, and it's just not right. What they're doing to people is not right, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. I, they hide behind the computers. They're cyber bullies, but it hurts. I, if I lived in Malden, a Medford somewhere, and you know, they know me. Well, okay, I, you know, it's too bad. But I live in a town where everybody knows me. Right. And it's not good. You, it's you're not from good you're thing. from one of the oldest families on the Cape. You got ponds named after my, you. <laughs> my, 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 my grandfather, my grandfather, I think, was the first fire chief. My great uncle was the first police chief. Are you kidding me? It, but I'm evil. I'm a horrible person. You want something? I'm there for you. But, now it's all gone. It's all destroyed. They have destroyed. They've destroyed everything. They've destroyed everything because I went to a freaking rally. They, you, I'm sorry. I, no, I no, I, I understand. This is this is ter- This is a terrible thing that's happened to you. And and again. You didn't take part in any of this. There were there were probably close to a million, if not more than a million people there. If you're if you're in a city yeah. with a million people, you're not responsible if some if something if a crime is committed somewhere else in that city, no. are you? No, but they think I hit it. One guy said, well, you know, you should have known. How many people calling in supporting in the How am I supposed to know? Mm-hmm. A friend of mine asked me if I wanted to go to a rally. I didn't uh, he he got the broom. Uh, I wasn't doing anything. Sounded like a good idea. I even stopped at the World War II Memorial and said a prayer for the 400,000 people who have lost their lives to give us the right to do what we're going to do without being castigated. Yeah. Here's uh, if people want to know how can, how can they how can they support you, Nate? How can they support you, Jesse from the Cape? I grew up with a bunch of Nickersons. I've been to Nate's place many times. You tell him right now not to give in. There are thousands on the Cape that support him and are on are his side. We'll get thousands to support his business. Don't give up. I, uh, we're getting all, we're being deluged with texts like that, uh, Nate. I'm going to put some callers on here for you. Barbara, you're next with Howie Carr and uh, Nate Nickerson from Arnold's in East Ham. Howie, I am just so honored to be able to be here and to listen to Nate. And you know what? Our, one of our most precious freedoms is the freedom to assemble and to speak our mind. Nate, you are a hero to me. I wasn't in Washington, but I was with all of you in spirit. 
and they are demonizing us because they are fearful of us, we cannot give up. We, we must stand up and, and preserve our freedoms because if we don't, we will lose them. If we back down, we're going to lose them. Yeah. Yeah. But why do we have to do this in the first place? We're all here on this planet for such a very short time. And in the meantime, we're going to uh, create all this hate and this trouble because you want to be, uh, I don't know, you want to pass your law or something. It's just crazy. People act like children. It's just, and they're not acting like Christians, I can tell you that. And I don't care if I get trouble for that because I am a God-fearing Christian and I hate anybody. I don't hate the people that are uh, doing this to me. I pray for them because I don't think they're in their right minds and I think they need uh, they need something. And I'm not smart enough, well enough to be able to fight all these people. I need people maybe to go on the internet or go on all those stupid social media programs. I had a girl work for me. She's my marketing it. She quit because she didn't want to be affiliated with me. I mean, I understand. That's It's a small town, and I understand. I need people to, you know. What can they do? And, where can they go? Where can they go to support you, Nate? Oh, you know where they go? Give me that woman's thing. What's the name of that woman's thing? Women's that, of Change? Kate Cod Woman of Change? Kate Cod Woman of Change. They're, they've been particularly vicious. Uh, they can go to any Arnold's. If there's an Arnold's, uh, what do you call it? Uh, page? What do you call that? Yeah, a Facebook page or uh, anywhere. Write a letter to the Globe. Write a letter to the Cape Cod Times. Get active and help because, you know, if I go down, everyone's going to go down. Yeah. Uh, Jim from Orlando says, tell Nate to keep the faith. I'll be in to see him when I'm in Massachusetts in June. All your listeners need to support him. Can they, can they buy gift certificates? Would that help you out? Or is it just you need you need an outpouring on social media right now? Outpouring on social media. The money is secondary. I don't care. We don't Take have James to do if you it want. that great summer. They want to go out there and pick it. I guess they have the right. But the social media, we need to get out there and say, okay, this guy's not a dirt bag. He's never done anything to hurt anybody. Quite the opposite. My wife, I married two weeks ago. And she's upstairs bawling her eyes out. She can't take it anymore. Marie from Dennis, we will still keep going to Arnold. Stay with us, Nate. James, you're next with Howie Carr and Nate Nickerson. Go ahead, James. Oh, we lost James. Oh, go ahead, James. Yes, yes please. Um, my suggestion is, and God, I feel for this guy, and I, 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 we all know what being bullied in the schoolyard is like. And so, you know, we have to. That's a good way to describe that. it, I think, James. Very good way to describe yeah. it. My suggestion for what small thing we can do is start writing our representatives, both senators and reps, regarding Section 230 about repealing it. And this is the uh, this this is the it gives the uh, the the social media giants uh, the the right to operate without fear of being treated as a publisher, i.e., being sued Take for Johnny, uh, defamation. Johnny, very quickly, Johnny, go ahead. Okay, yeah, Nate. Uh, I'm with you, my friend. Um, I served in Iraq and Afghanistan. No one loves this country more than God me. God bless you. Thank you for your service, POW. man. Uh, no problem. Uh, my, my dad was a Korean War guy. My uncle was a POW in World War II. Nobody loves this country more than me. The other day, I'm at work. My ex-wife calls me, and she starts yelling at me. Like, it was my fault. A freaking, I didn't even know what was going on. I'm at work. I'm not watching TV. And she's telling me, complaining and giving me crap. I'm like, I just was like, thank God you're my ex-wife, but still, I mean, I'm, how is it my fault? Yeah, well, that's, you know exactly how I feel, only multiplied by about, I don't know, a million people by now. It's just getting worse. It's growing leaps and bounds, and I don't know how to stop it. Wrap and it I'm so embarrassed, and I'm so worried about my child, my beautiful little daughter, and my beautiful bride. I mean, they don't need this. Nate, we're going to have to, we're going to have to break, but... We'll we'll keep we'll keep in touch with you, and uh, we'll see if you try to help Nate out. And if you Nate, if you could send us something, we'll tweet it out. I know with Twitter, but we'll tweet it out where people can go to uh, support you. Okay, and we'll be in touch with you. We'll talk to you uh, tomorrow if we uh, if if uh, if you if you want to talk again to see how it's going. We got we got to uh, you know try to help you out. Yeah. Nate did not condone well, under you, any Howie, circumstances. 
Thanks. Thank you, Nate. Thanks for being with us. He did not condone under any circumstances what went on that day, and neither did I. And the, the people that are doing this to him need to remember that and stop acting like schoolyard bullies, as, uh, as Johnny said so well. Sticking to your New Year's resolution is a matter of making one right decision at a time. One of my New Year's resolutions is to eat healthier and to, to just do a, a better job of taking care of myself. And uh, one of those ways to take care of myself is to check out, is to uh, eat, uh, enjoy more Super Beats heart chews. I just had one right now during the break. I needed a little boost of energy. I love Super Beats heart chews. They make me feel better. They just gave me a boost of energy. They're easy to deal with. You don't have to uh, mix them up in, in anything. You just, uh, they're, they're wrapped in foil like a piece of candy. You just stick them in your pocket and you can go about your day. You, you can uh, use two a day, eat two a day. They're tasty and they make you feel better. Just two Super Beats heart chews per day give you the cardiovascular support and promote the heart-healthy energy you need to chase your goals. Super Beats heart chews combines non-GMO beets and clinically researched grapeseed extract shown to be twice as effective at supporting normal blood pressure than a healthy lifestyle alone. When it comes to implementing healthy habits this year, adding Super Beats heart chews to your daily routine is an easy decision to make. You're really going to enjoy these things. They, uh, they taste good. They make you feel better. Good for your blood pressure, your circulation, and your heart health. And now you can get a free 30-day supply of Super Beats Heart Chews plus a free 30-day supply of their new delicious flavor, Super Grapes, with your first purchase by going to superbeatsradio.com slash Howie. That's two free gifts valued at over $50, only available at superbeatsradio.com slash Howie. That's superbeatsradio.com slash Howie. I'm Howie Carr. Howie will 